I was told when I get older, all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure, and I care what people think. Hey guys, we're back again. I got a new laser in from eBay today. I want to show this to you guys. We'll test it out, see if it's actually what they say it is on eBay. It is uh, right here. We got the charger, the glasses, the five bits, and this is it. It's supposed to be a one watt green laser. And I went ahead and fully charged this battery overnight in the charger they provided. We're going to put it in. We're going to test it out first try, and we're going to see if it's actually one watt like they say it is. So if you look over here, I got the meter. We're going to test it and see what we get. I bet this is another eBay lie, but we will see. Now anybody out there, somebody criticized last time for me not wearing safety glasses. I'm testing the eBay laser. I expect this thing to be less than 200 milliwatts, but I'll put on the glasses anyway just for safety. So let's test it out, get it going here and see what we get. Can you see it? I can't see it with these glasses on, so. Where are we at? 80. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got 80 milliwatts, supposed to be 1,000. And I'll put in the listing down below who I bought this from. And uh, obviously they're selling something that's not what they say it is. It's 80 milliwatts, not 1,000. This is another laser that would not burn anything. It won't light a match. It won't burn your hand. It won't pop a balloon. So be careful what you buy on eBay. Make sure they're reputable. I'll try to show you the ones that I bought from people like this one that claims to be a five, a five watt, and it's actually about 1.5 watts. This is plenty of power to light matches, pop balloons, burn things. This was a good buy at $56. This one was $35. And not worth it. I mean, this is barely more powerful than, you know, one of these little $10 or $5 lasers you can get anywhere. So be careful what you buy. That's why we're here. We're going to show you what, which ones are what they say they are, which ones are not. So stay tuned, and we'll be back with another review of the next one we get. Don't buy this one unless you want an 80-milliwatt laser. See you guys. See you next time.